Welcome to Jot Form. Today I'm going to show you how to display a different thank you page based on the answers that you received. Now in this case, I have prepared this basic form where I've added this element for drop down menu. Now if they select one of these options, which is sales, support or accountant, it will display a different thank you page based on this selection. So I'm going to show you how to do this right now. So let's go ahead and head on over to settings, conditions. We're going to go to change the thank you page. And we're going to decide if what element we're going to use for this. So in this case, if the area element and if this is equal to sales, we're going to display a thank you page for that. So right now it says only thank you. We can modify every aspect of this. But in this case, we're just going to say thank you for contacting sales. All right. Let's make this bold. Let's save this. Let's add another condition again. Thank you page. And we're going to select if the area is equal to support. We're going to display a support. Thank you page. So thank you for contacting support. Now you can make this more complex or simple as you like. Let's go ahead and save this and let's add that last condition right here for the last variable that we have in that drop down menu. So let's go ahead and to equal to select accountant and we're going to display a custom submission and we're going to say thank you for contacting accountant area. Let's go ahead and make this bold just so it's a little bit bigger. And let's go ahead and save this. Now we have three conditions available depending on the answer we receive. Now let's go ahead and test this in our form open in a new tab. And we're just going to fill random information here and we're going to select the area cells. Okay, let's go ahead and submit. And now we have thank you for contacting cells. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go back. And now let's go ahead and test support. Let's submit. And now it says Thank you for contacting support. And we have several ways of using this, even more complex ones if we like. But in this case, we're going to use, for example, one more condition here for a different thank you page. Let's go ahead and well, we'll disable them for now. Let's pause them. Let's add a new condition. And again, thank you page. We can go ahead the name and we can say if the name is empty, we can display a different thank you page or send them to another URL. Now that might not be something useful. So let's go ahead and add another field right here. We could say if the phone number, All right? Let's use that phone number again. Let's go into conditions. Thank you page. Let's go ahead for phone number. If the phone number is empty. Okay. We're going to display a different thank you page and we're just going to say, don't forget to add your phone number later or providers your phone number something that you might need but this is just for demo purposes right so if the field is empty it's going to display that message again let's go test our form and remember we're not going to fill the, the phone number we're going to leave it empty and we're going to submit and it says don't forget to add your phone number later now if i do add the phone number submit it's going to display the default thank you message. So you can see you can play around with these conditional logics to display a different thank you page depending on what elements you have right here or your personal needs. Well, that is how you display a different thank you page based on the settings that you have set right here. Well, we thank you all for watching. Don't forget to watch our next tutorials. See you later.